Hey, Ethan's. Okay, this is kind of part two of the whole kinds versus species uh, argument. I'm going into a little bit more detail because, uh, again, I think you guys probably have run into a bunch of creationists. Or maybe you are a creationist watching this video. I don't know. But the idea being scientific classification versus your classification and does it does in fact evolution exist and I've already said that evolution does exist you understand that evolution exists and you accept that evolution exists the question is just how much and this is reality you understand that two animals can breed together and create a new animal you understand that you are uh, much like your parents but uh, and will be much like your children but your children will be less like your parents you understand all this Apply a little natural selection, and boom, there you go. There's evolution. Um, you understand that different breeds of animal can mate with each other. You understand that uh, two different levels of animal, like a lion and a tiger, can breed. Um, can it go higher than that? Uh, I mentioned something in my my last video, and, and I'm going to post this as a response just to make sure that uh, people understand exactly what I'm saying, um, because the the order class is the is the one that where people usually break down. That's usually the one that uh, that people just cannot seem to handle. They can't grasp the idea that it goes beyond order. Um, they will pretty much accept the fact that uh, of a family. Can breed. We know that that happens. We know that um, lions and tigers can breed and make the liger. I mentioned that in the last video. Uh, we understand that. So, can it go one more? Well, I'm not going to go one more. I'm not going to go uh, to. Well, I tell you, what, I will go one more. Let's go one more. Let's talk about two animals that are very, very much alike, and that could possibly breed. I want you to think about a lizard. A lizard is a reptile. It is not born in water. It does not have gills. It does lay eggs. And um, it's a lizard, it's a reptile. You understand that? Its kingdom is Animalia. Um, its phylum is chordata, basically means it's a you know, vertebrate, more or less. Um, its class is a, a crazy name, I ain't going to try and pronounce it. Uh, order is squamata. And the um, suborder of uh, Lacertilia. But it's a lizard. Okay. Then there's the salamander. Salamander lives under the exact same phylum of Chordata. Its class, however, is amphili uh, amphib amphibia, or amphibian. All right, it goes back to the whole primate thing. You, all right, you go to when you look at people. We're we're primates under our. Um, when you classify us out at, at the same level of order, where we're primates, something else is a carnivore, or a herbivore, or an omnivore, but we're primates. I don't get that, but, you know, hey, that's between you scientists, that's how you labeled it out, so fine, whatever. A salamander, its order is, um, there's two different versions, it's K-A-U-D-A-T-A, -A -A, caudala, or U-R-O-D-L-A. Uh, Eurodella. Its class is amphibia. Now, why isn't the class of uh, reptiles uh, some other form of reptile? I don't know. I don't. This is his Latin. I don't speak Latin, but that's the bottom line. You're talking a a, 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 tera, a teropoda is a reptile, more or less. Um, there's subclasses and there's superclasses, but the, you know that's that's your basic thing. I want you to think about a salamander right now. A salamander is an amphibian. It is born in the water, laid as, as an egg, and then forms, grows lungs, and then comes out of the water. It's an amphibian. 
Lizard is not. Are they that much different? How different is a salamander from a lizard? Here you have two classes of animals that could possibly breed together. Do you see? Two classes, reptile, amphibian. How about reptile, bird? How about reptile, mammal? You see? Not that big of a deal, is it? And keep in mind, we're at class now. The only things left are basically phylum and kingdom, which are, you know, kingdom is animal, plant, or mineral, more or less. Phylum gets a little more specific, but it's, you know, again, it's very hard to give it generic terms. Um, you don't start getting, you know, generic until you get to class. And here I'm showing you lizard and an amphibian, are they that much different? Could two animals have reproduced together, just like the tiger and the lion who make the liger, could two animals have reproduced together to make the very, very, very separate class of, of a reptile out of an amphibian? And what the hell ever? Who knows what it could have been? It could have been a species that's completely and totally extinct that we haven't even found yet. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? I'm not saying your God doesn't exist. I'm saying this happened, people. It really, really happened. Tigers have bred with lions and made new species. Um, poodles have bred with bulldogs and made new species. Or not bulldogs, um, Labradors and made new species. The Bulldogs is a thing that I have, is an idea that I have. I'm going to make a million off of it. I'm not going to tell you about it because you'll steal it. The way it is. So, what is the problem here, people? Why is it that a primate of class mammalia, if salamanders and reptiles could possibly breed together, why is it so hard to understand that a primate that's an order. Could possibly interbreed and suddenly an ape like creature becomes man. Why is that so hard? I don't get it. You guys tell me. So, um, that's kind of part two. Like I said, it's, it's really common sense. I don't understand. I, I really don't understand why this is so hard to. To, to grasp with today's intellect and knowledge. Why is it so hard to understand that if two species can interbreed and two um, genus can interbreed and two orders can interbreed, why can't two classes interbreed um, in, in a type of, you know, this type of level? Obviously, you're going to have two different things and they'll have to be somewhat similar, but why couldn't this have happened in the early stages of life and how we've come to be? Work it backwards just, just like a maze, people. Finish to start, not start to finish, and it makes sense. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.